Uh, on Monday, we heard reports about the adoption of the Stephen Oronsai report by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, wherein uh, commissions, departments, agencies will be merged in order to reduce cost. And this is all about reducing cost in governance. But there has been so many criticisms coming. Uh, we had that of the human rights lawyer, uh, Femi Falano, uh, that said that the Stephen Orosai report is outdated and doesn't communicate with the current realities. But we have a situation where if we say that you know, a, a particular you know, uh, adoption of a policy or a report be done by an administration, and if the administration goes ahead to do that, there's always criticism that it's not doing enough. Now, to a great extent, I, 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 how do you see this, uh, Mbanefo? Don't yeah. you see this <clears throat> as laudable in the right direction? of having a, a, a way of reducing cost of governance? Because the human rights lawyer also said that uh, the government should take it forward by making sure that it reduces the number of political appointees and, of course, also merge the National Assembly, Assembly. you know, the Senate and the House of Rep into one house. Now, let's look at it. Do you see this step <laughs> taken by the government as laudable, or do you critique it? Yeah. I will come to that question, but before I go to that question, let me say, chip in this. Okay. That, you know, I want to align myself to my learned friend's position yeah. on the issue of Nigerians and the way they are suffering, that the government of the day, the cost of governance in Nigeria is so large, and that uh, the cost of running the government is so big, and that the, our leaders don't even know that there's a problem in the, in the nation. Again, it's a very big embarrassment to the nation that Nigerians are protesting because of food. An oil producing country, the biggest power in Africa, is having the problem of feeding. The cutting of Indomie is about 17,000 naira. A bag of rice is about 85. Look at that, so, you know. Then the loaf of bread last week was 1.5. I don't know how much as had this morning. You can't just buy anything. And people are protesting eats. along the street that they are hungry. If you look at Venezuela, this was how it, it started. Today, the Venezuela, you can't talk about it today about Venezuela. The economy has crumbled. So Venezuela is at the point of a first state, in fact, almost a first state, Venezuela. When we there, if you look at Rwanda, Paul Kagame came on board, took over a country that was almost gone yeah. because of civil war. And today, Rwanda is the Silicon Valley of Africa, one of the fastest growing economies in Africa. And so we have all the best brands in this country that can turn this country around. I think Obasanjo did it before, quietly and pick them and, you know, invite them and say, what do we do to move the economy forward? Everything about governance, like I said earlier, is all about the overall good of the people. Exactly. And so when the people that you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are leading are not happy with you, that means something is wrong with the system. Okay, in the way forward, looking at the way forward, how to tackle this headlong? The Oronsai report implementation. Yes, uh, by yes back to the uh, Oronsai report right now. Uh, my late senior, um, um, Femi Falana, was saying that uh, that report is... Uh, Outdated. Outdated. Doesn't well, meet current realities. Yeah, but I disagree. How true is that? I, I agree with you to some extent. I disagree with him to some extent. If it is uh, 12 years, it's not, uh, it's not 12 days. It's quite a long time. And so most of the things around Sire recommended may have never been overtaken by time. But one thing that is sacrosanct and that is certain is that. It will reduce cost is, of governance. Is that there is need actually. To stop the duplication of ministries. Of course, so that we don't have and, duplicated and, budgets. And agencies. So we don't have duplicated budget and, uh, yes. and all that. EFCC, ICPC, the ICPC has no business where there's EFCC. And of course, there is issues of prosecutorial powers mm. of the police, of the EFCC, of the ICPC. Some of these issues have been raised in court most of the times. Which of the agencies raise controversies? Yes. <laughs> and so there's nothing wrong if you, if you have a strong police and you scrap EFCC and you scrap RC, RCPC. So that's a brilliant development. It is a brilliant development. Okay. 
So, but that is not even our problem. Our, our problem is not to down, is not downsizing the government. If it doesn't downsize the problem, government to, to, to capture our funds our problem for infrastructural development that will also translate to development for the common masses. Our problem too is not downsi downsizing. Our problem is not major. Our problem is not making some agencies departments of some agencies. Then what is it? Our problem is corruption. <laughs> no matter how you downsize the, the government, the agencies, and no matter how you eliminate some, and no matter how you make some, some agents of the agencies and whatever, if the people manning those areas are corrupt, you're just wasting your time. Yeah, for us not to sound pessimistic, at least you just said it, it's a good head start. So why we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. Uh, basically, let's see how the merging okay. will come in. And then we'll also tackle corruption alongside. What do you think, uh, <laughs> Greg? Yeah. Well, uh, the Steve Warren Sae report is a very comprehensive, very sound report. So you disagree I, with the human rights lawyer, Femi Fala, now? To a very large extent. Okay. Mm, because the issue of duplicating certain agencies and extra ministerial department is, is actually something that sucks our funds and is sucking the pulse of the nation dry. But I think the, the problem that the NLC has with the government is this, that whenever you talk of, let me call it restructuring, okay. like this, that the government's eyes will always be on job cuts. So that loss of jobs is actually what the NLC is battling with. They're not against it. I read Ajero's comments very well. Uh -huh. So he said they are not against it. But the issue of job cuts, and the government is putting that one first. Actually, before, but the government has shown that there is not going to be a, a reduction of uh, uh, the size of manpower in that regard. Let there is not going to be job cut. Well, let me tell you. The presidency see, emphasized that the trust deficit between the presidency and the people is so much. The reason is this: when there is no performance, whenever it comes to any agreement that is reached, what is the NLC details? Meetings they have had. Okay, but when you say trust yeah. deficit, don't you think uh, you will be overblowing it because no, 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 to throw us into commotion. <laughs> Why do I have to trust you? Everywhere in the world, trust is not dashed to anybody. No, you trust it. is aimed. Yeah, you we have to aim people's trust. People won't dash you their trust anywhere. So you have not proved to us, okay, my salary has been static. Let me go back to that. What was the cost of rice? What was the cost of fuel? What was the cost of cement? What was the cost of transportation? You know, when you came and now, is my life better? But was it the president that did that, uh, or uh, as a result of the uh, interaction of variables globally? Who said the because variables? Because it's not to Nigeria alone. Don't forget. Who said the variables? The rate at which uh, <laughs> prices of, of fuel is coming yeah. at different at different countries? Who said the variables? That variables even that of Nigeria is is, is quite a, a bit uh, considerable. No. Though we are it, not there yet. It is not considerable because of our wages. Pay us what the Americans are paying their citizens. Pay us what the British government is paying their citizens. Charge us the same for goods and services. You are talking about a developed okay. policy as compared to a developing policy. Yes. If you <laughs> think of the resources of Nigeria, we are told that Nigeria has the resources that is at least three times that of France. Nigeria has the resources at least okay. three times that of France. So why are we living? We, 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 should be, we should be kings and, and we should be princes on horses and not servants walking in the streets. That is the picture. Well, and current, current reality is far from that. <laughs> but they fall, but the, the economy, Nigeria is always... But you agree, we run, you agree we run uh, virtually every year, annually, we run deficit budgets. You agree to that? 
We run deficit budget because you, the humongous amount of money you know borrowed will is an alarming case. Whoever that, those, that gave rise for the reason to remove uh, subsidy. Whoever those are borrowing, those are sowing. That is that is the issue. We, Nigeria fought a civil war two and a half years, and we didn't borrow one dime. And nobody, nobody was owed one, uh, one month salary. Okay, do want well to call us on the number that will be displayed on the screen. Uh, quickly do want well to call us on that so that we can uh, quickly uh, look at what you have, your plight, in this conversation. Uh, well, while we expect the number to be on the screen, uh, we get your reaction, Royal Rebel. The whole, ha the whole drama has been problems, looking at issues yes. that are Orosa emanating here. from the polity. Yes. Now, don't you see the Orosa report as a way out? Because <laughs> I remember vividly when we had this forum. Yes. You also yes. spoke about the need to cut down costs of on course. governance. Of course. Is uh, this the way out? No, with the disposition of the present administration, yeah. implementation of Orosa report now, it's a contradiction of what the president said. This is the first time we are having over, uh, over for the seven ministers in the yes. Yes. Uh, What are you telling me? That you are having 48 ministers. You are telling me I want to dance. I want to make uh, one agency to another. Well, what does it take to, to service uh, a director and to service a minister? Why do we like fully ourselves in this country? You have 48 ministers. In the history of the year, this is the first time. And this is a man who has been nursing the ambition that uh, I want to implement a Rosa A report. And that's the reason why I say one is a contradiction. Secondly, it's even a distraction. Because now that people are protesting, we are hungry. The president and the president, he already put something together. Mm. I said, we will merge. We, that doesn't make anything. The answer is no. <laughs> it's just that we will have another, how many wisdom to implement it. They are not even making it. They are telling you that uh, we should give that thing about uh, until the end of, uh, until the, 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 two months. yes. We should give them two months. To me, it's a distraction. They want to tell those who are protesting, we are doing something different, whereas they are not doing anything different. It's just what we are used to in this country. When, you, when we sit down and start analyzing implementation of a Rosa A report, they are all bad at us. Because there's nothing that will come out from there. It, it's different from what the president believes. You sound pessimistic. My brother, I'm talking according to the facts and figures available to me. What is pessimism for a man? You have been at home, it's 6 p.m., there is no gas in your house, there is no food. You are still saying that uh, you are going to cook. You are deceiving yourself. <laughs> that is what I'm saying in this country. You don't have anything to cook. There is nothing 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 to cook. It's the reality of God. The president and the social, they, they don't believe that what they are doing, they are just contradicting themselves. You have 48 ministers. I have also, I believe, 12 years ago, or 30, when this report came out, I celebrated it. Well, I was one of those persons who said, we don't have any business having ESCC and ICPC. I even went for that to say, we don't even have uh, any reason why we should have uh, uh, firefighters. Yes, of course, yes, I and, remember that. Yeah, I went for that and said, the people were asking me, what do you do? I said, I, I will, if I'm a person, I will make police, ICPC, uh, yes, ESCC, the yes. firefighters. There will, be a, there will be a subunit in Nigeria police where you want to, if your house is on fire, you cut them. No, no, if we want to really show off what we are doing. And now what is our, our biggest problem today is that most of the agencies you are talking about in government, and government encourage them, they all collect tax. A country where more than, or more than three agencies are collecting tax, more than five. How, how do you work? We have customer who is busy collecting tax somewhere. We have internal revenue who is busy collecting tax somewhere. If you go to the, the port, there's another organization there. The IRS. Uh, yes. The different people. And of this money not. is not being remitted to the government. That's all I'm concerned. Okay. And government continue to encourage people to misbehave. When you talk, they say because we're in opposition. What do we need? The art to fix Nigeria is very simple. Because what we need to do is just copy and paste. It's working in Europe. You come here and copy it. Very just now, uh, it was in a state. But uh, uh, what the uh, former minister of, uh, of uh, uh, power. power, he came with a policy that Nigeria, we can get it, we can get half 24 power uh, light. People say, no, they go and mobilize and tell Jonathan, this man will spoil our food. Though. You have to do away with this man, uh, Professor Nanji. <laughs> they, 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 yeah, they removed the man. Now the man said, I can do this. He went back to, to Abia. Abia State. Yeah. As we are talking now, I read it yesterday in the newspaper, they celebrated 48 uh, hours power supply. 
What does that show to me? He believes all in the dossier now. Other BDC. Can we celebrate five hours on the Tarot Pass? One hour. One hour. When I say one hour, they are talking about stable. Because you have that, you go up and come down, you, you are using stabilizer. Is that right? Okay, okay, let's get the reaction so of the viewers the and, of course, the listeners on Independent Radio. I did say that you're going to be calling us, and the number is 0807 777 0300. I'm sure of that. 0807 777 Be sure to be civil in your presentation. It counts. And as you call us, please ensure you go straight to the point. Now, Let's look at the National Assembly, for instance. There. Let's critique what uh, the human rights lawyer said. I, I, I think a whole lot, you know, should be looked into the sensible, you know, uh, structure and functions, you know, and oversight functions that come with the two houses of assembly. Now, do you think or do you see the statement credited to Femi Falano? on merging the National House of Assembly into one, you know. Do you see it as sensible? Looking yes, at the that challenges aspect is, that aspect, legislation. Yes, yeah, that aspect is very sensible. If the government is honest to themselves, if they want to be honest to Nigerians, the government should be honest to themselves. If you are talking about downsizing, if you're talking about the Royal report, you have to start from yourself. Look at the number of number of legislators in that in both in both houses. And look at the cost. What is costing this country to take care and finance the two, uh, the two houses of national assembly? You discover that what we are spending on them, some states don't earn it. And so, if they want to talk about any downsizing, it should start with national assembly. The last uh, Muslim, Muslim holidays, the president went to mosque in Lagos, yeah. and the convoy was over 200 vehicles. All right. All right. The present president I, 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 I get back to you. Over two hundred vehicles. Okay, I'll, I'll come, come back to, to you. Where, I'll, I'll come, come to you. Can call call to hold, 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 hold. I'll come back to you. We have a call. Good morning, caller. Tell us your name and location, and make your contribution quickly. All right. My name is Nelson Ikuoke. Nelson, go ahead. I'm, I'm calling from Benin. Um, the truth of the matter is concerning this Oragi or report. We are just being deceived because, like what the man in blue said, if you look at the fact on ground, even the, the convoy of the president, when he was in Lagos yesterday, you know that he's never ready to cut down any cost. How can you employ some other persons that are not? Imagine you employing somebody that will carry your baggage or luggage while traveling. That is an extra uh, spending. So, for that report, the idea is to cut down the cost of governance, and you have to start with yourself. The ministers should be uh, cut down, and the allowances, because I always stand for this fact that if our political appointees, their salary is not uh, is not bogus, you just make them to receive the same salary as civil servants, like some other countries do it, where they have other jobs while they do. Um, their political work part time. You see that people that are capable will want to be there. Because what we just have in Nigeria is uh, people going there uh, just to feather their nerves. Okay, th you know, thank you. More than enough. So people are crying for food. I went to buy gas today. The last time I bought that gas, I bought it for less than 12,000 naira. This morning, I bought it for 15,300 naira. What is going to happen next week, we don't even know. So things are increasing every day. And the presidency, they are just trying to just keep busy, but they are not doing anything. So let us not be deceived with what they are saying. Well, Nelson, that's your opinion. Thank you for your contribution. But that's your opinion. And uh, let's get to the brass tack of what Nelson said. But before that, right. let's quickly take this call. Good morning, caller. Good morning, Magito. Your name and location, and quickly quick start your contribution. Mr. Ayeni. Mr. Ayeni. Uh, yes. You are calling us from where? From Apatikova. Go ahead with your contribution quickly. I want to tell the Nigeria that we should know what we have to do to remove anything politics. We can come here with work at this in this administration. Come here to work at this. Because we don't pray for that place. Are you are you saying that you are a prophet of doom? We don't need to pray for that. Just look, look, just just be objective, okay? 
Nobody saying that you shouldn't ventilate your opinion, but be objective. Thank you, Ayemi. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Ayani. You've established your point. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Ayani. Well, this, this, this is just to show the reactions of the public, most especially when it has to do with dealing with a government that uh, they do not have trust over. But, well, we allowed that to settle. Uh, Nelson also called in and said that it seems the government is not ready to uh, bring about a reduction of costs uh, by virtue of the convoy. That was with the president. Yes. Uh, and uh, also, Mr. Ayani is even saying that remove the two houses of assembly, <laughs> <laughs> both the Senate and the yeah. House of Reps. Yeah, well, well, let's get your reaction to all of this. Yes, we are all on, on the same page. You know, we are all on the same page. We everything about leadership is all about creativity. Mm. It's all about ideas. Okay. It's all about innovation. It's all about seeing the future. It's all about patriotism. It's all about believing on yourself and on believing on the nation. Okay. Unfortunately, Nigeria is an orphan. No father, no mother. No mother. By your it's an orphan. Nigeria is by an orphan. opinion and interpretation, can you elucidate? Yes. The point is this. Who is a Nigerian? <laughs> we all claim to be Nigerians. But who is a Nigerian? If you kidnap one American citizen in Cuba, <laughs> America will move all their efforts to Cuba to make sure that that person is rescued. If you kill 90 people in Benue or Plateau, it's as if you don't know who, who the people who killing them. Or. But you won't be saying the truth because if, Nobody, if those, even in, in some of the reports we have, you know, on uh, kidnapped victims, we still see, you know, the uh, law enforcement agents wrapping their heads around the up matter and also releasing them. We also heard about the Chibok girls, for instance. You know that. When we also when we get to the bridge, when we get to the bridge, we, we try, if, when we get to the bridge, we will talk about how to cross the bridge. We are talking about the sufferings of the masses, okay, and the response of the federal government towards it. And a government in power must care for the people whom they are governing. A government of the of the day, a, a government that is truly a government must care about the welfare of the people that this is this, this in. Okay. And so, I was very report on the face of it, nothing is wrong with it. Okay. But the problem we have, like I said earlier, is no matter how you downsize, and you don't keep corruption, you're just wasting your time. Okay, let's and, get... And, and, and so, you can't shut people up. It's, the people have a right to protest. The people have a right to exercise their feelings. The, the people have right to peaceful assembly. The people have right to air their opinions. And so, if we look at government policy, like my, my brother said, I agree with him, that the issue of Russia report was a main distraction by the government. Because the, the, if your house is on fire, you don't go and start to pursue that. Okay, you've so actually your point. Deal with the issue let's, on ground. Let's get the reaction How do we of, resolve the issue Let's get the reaction of Greg EIE the issue of as the, a way out of this. The, 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 the high rate of foreign exchange, okay. what are we doing about it? You the high that. You've articulated food, that. Uh, stop. Okay. What are we doing about it? Okay. The lack of medical care, what are we doing about it? The insecurity in the nation, what are we doing about it? Okay, let, let the pendulum swing to Greg EIE. The way forward for Nigerian mm -hmm. government to ameliorate the plight of Nigerians. Yeah, he's, he's angry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even though, if it's that I'm angry, I think that is euphemistic. <laughs> I'm full of wrath. <laughs> you see, the, if you want to lead... But it's not a hopeless situation, is it? Almost. Uh, to my own pleasure, uh, to be full of wrath. Yes, I have to be wrath against the government that is making the people suffer when they ought not to suffer. I mean, we've, the, we've, we've established the, the deficit. Yes. Let's the, look at how to solve the problem. That's what the, I asked. The way of, of solving the problem, if you want to lead the people, show the way. Not just tell them the way. Show the way. First of all, show by 
cutting down the cost of governance starting from yourself. Obviously. How many vehicles follow you? They are fueled by Nigerian taxpayers' money. Have we not seen the presidents of other country? How they go? Sophisticated, rich, very wealthy countries. Okay, okay. Let's quickly take this call. Uh, Good morning, morning caller. Good morning, sir. Okay, what's your name and where are you calling from? And make your contributions quickly. My name is Solomon. I'm calling from my vote to you. Okay, Solomon, go ahead. I'm uh, really enjoying uh, the, the discussion uh, on, on screen this, this, this blessed morning. Okay. God bless you, the speakers. Okay, go straight to the point, please. Quick. We don't have time. Uh, really what I want to say is that our leaders, most especially the political leaders, they are the problem of Nigeria. Because when you have leader that manage funds and doesn't listen to the people and turn Nigerians, we are not beggars. Everyone to become at least little beggars. Okay, Solomon, what's the way out? Solomon, we are at the point of solutions, profile solutions. And it's not on the it's not the responsibility of the government functionaries alone. It's also your responsibility as a follower. So what do you see as the way forward? Quickly. Cut down on cost. Okay. Okay, is the Orosaya report implementation not laudable? Uh, I don't see that the way out. Because they are all this, uh, it will be gambled at the end of the day. Okay, thank you, Solomon. You've established your point. You've articulated that. That's Solomon true. says that he doesn't see that as a way out. Continue from where you stopped, but you have a minute left. Uh, uh, Greg, yeah, you're not, not yes, Greg, um, it, the floor. It's a way out yeah. if they will implement it with the spirit with which Orosai wrote it. Because Orosai is a citizen, um, 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 civil servant. Mm -hmm. He rose to the position of being head of service of the federation so i believe that he has insight he has very deep knowledge okay and if we implement it with the spirits with which he wrote it i believe that it will work well for us thank you but we more than size thank you the cost of governance thank you in, in 40 seconds uh Royal Rebubble. the situation of this continent one of the what we serve as a panel yeah, the general government as a matter of urgency review the removal of society they must review because we're not prepared for it. The president administration <laughs> was not prepared for the review. You, 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 you are taking the country back. We are not. You know, it's review. Anything you want to If you are backing, if you are going on a journey. Are you saying that they, should, they should call it back? No matter the distance you are wait, going wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that it should be called back? It has to be reviewed. If you are going on a, a backing on a journey, no matter the distance you, have co you are covered. Okay, if you, you cannot get to the outside, that, to outside that, what is? Uh, uh, outside that, what is? Most, most society is review. We will not go back to the drawing book and formulate a workable direction for well, us. Well, thank you. Opinions shared here are the opinions of the makers and not that of independent <laughs> television. <laughs> Big thanks, Greg. Here are you. Big thanks, everybody, for our way. Big thanks, Ron River Ball. We do the same time next week. I'm Philip. Come on, people. Bye. <laughs>